Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google Maps on Android Auto. So now, all we need to do is to have our Android Auto application. So basically, you can just search for it on uh, the Google Play and then just search for Android Auto and then it will take you to the Android Auto settings. Otherwise, you can just go to the settings here of uh, your phone and search in the apps for the Android Auto and there is a thing that you will need to know is that the Android Auto is only available on the version of Android uh, the 10th version to uh, more so basically you need just to go to apps and here in the apps you will need just to search for Android Auto and you will just enable it and have it on your screen after that you will need just to go to your Android Auto application and then here you will find this login page or main page then you will need just to click connect car so you can connect your car with the android auto and then you will need just to branch it or you can just connect it while uh, by using the wireless android auto after this you will need just to follow these simple steps and basically now all we need to do is to click on customize launcher and as you can see i don't not have yet my google maps so basically the, f the thing that you need to do is to add your Google Maps on your phone. So basically, I'm just going to add the maps and search for the Google Maps. And basically, we need just to install it. And by installing it, automatically, it will be integrated to your car. And basically, you will be able to use your Google Maps exactly as you are using it on your phone. So basically, the map will be uh, opened automatically on its own and it will show as it is showing on your phone so all you need to do is to wait for the app until it is fully installed and then after this you will need just to restart your android auto so basically after restarting your connection with your automobile you will have your uh, maps that will be added on your android auto so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time